For over 15 years, Tesla has run on lithium-ion batteries. But now, Elon Musk has dropped a major surprise. The upcoming 2026 Tesla Model 2 will ship with aluminum-ion batteries, a technology many experts once dismissed as impossible to scale. This move could either redefine the future of electric mobility or become Musk's biggest gamble yet. So why would Tesla risk its reputation on a chemistry that the industry called unworkable? And what do the numbers reveal about this new battery? Today, we're cutting through the noise and looking at what aluminum ion means for Tesla, its rivals, and you. Energy density. Can aluminum ion compete? Energy density is the number that defines how much power you can pack into a battery. It decides how far you can drive before needing a recharge. In this race, the aluminum ion starts behind. Current tests place its energy density between 160 and 200 watt hours per kilogram while advanced lithium-ion NCM cells, like the ones used in Tesla's Model 3 and Hyundai's Ionic 5, reach 250 to 270 watt-hours per kilogram. That difference might sound small, but it adds up quickly on the road. A 50 kWa aluminum-ion battery stores 8 to 10 kWa less than its lithium counterpart. That's roughly 30 to 40 fewer miles of range, enough to notice on a long trip. It means aluminum ion still can't compete in sheer capacity. But Tesla's play isn't about going further on a single charge. It's about how fast you can get back on the road. Aluminum ion's key advantage lies in charging speed. Lab tests show these batteries can recharge from 0 to 100% in just 10 minutes without the overheating or chemical stress that slows lithium cells. To put that into perspective, Tesla's Supercharger 5.3 the fastest in wide use, still takes around 25 to 30 minutes to charge a lithium-ion pack from 10% to 80%. That's a huge time gap in the EV world. A team from the University of Queensland found that aluminum-ion could accept charge up to 60 times faster than lithium-ion. It's like comparing a phone that takes half an hour to charge with one that does it in under two minutes. The chemistry is fundamentally different. Now, picture real-world use. Suppose the Model 2 offers a 250-mile range, which is slightly below a Model 3 standard range, but imagine adding 250 miles of charge in the time it takes to grab a coffee. Suddenly, range matters less than convenience. Aluminum ion flips the logic of EV ownership. Instead of waiting half an hour at a charger, drivers can stop briefly and keep moving. The question shifts from how far can I go to how soon can I go again? That mindset could change how people think about electric cars altogether. Charge cycles and longevity, built to outlive the car. Longevity has always been a make or break point for EV adoption. Batteries wear down with each cycle, charge, discharge, repeat, and eventually lose capacity. Tesla's current lithium ion packs last around 2,000 to 3,000 full cycles, roughly 500,000 miles before noticeable degradation. That's already impressive, but aluminum ion could blow that out of the water. Early studies show aluminum ion cells could survive 10,000 or more charge cycles before capacity loss becomes significant. That's nearly five times the lifespan of today's best EV batteries. Do the math. A 250 mile per charge Model 2 multiplied by 10,000 cycles equals 2.5 million miles of lifetime driving. That's enough to circle the Earth 100 times. For the average driver, that's far beyond what they'd ever need. This could make aluminum ion the first forever battery for EVs. Instead of worrying about expensive replacements after 8 or 10 years, owners could drive the same car for decades, or pass it on to the next generation, with the same pack still performing near new. For Tesla, this means more than durability. It lowers long-term service costs, strengthens the company's resale market, and improves brand trust. A million-mile battery also opens doors for autonomous fleets, robo-taxis, and heavy-use delivery vehicles that run almost non-stop. Every extra cycle means fewer raw materials mined, less electronic waste, and less pressure on global supply chains. It's a quiet revolution, not as flashy as acceleration stats, but one that defines the next decade of EV economics.
In short, aluminum ion could make the battery lifespan issue disappear entirely. Production costs and pricing, the real disruptor. Now let's shift to economics, the hidden engine behind every major innovation. Aluminum is the third most abundant element on Earth. It's cheap, easy to source, and widely recycled. Lithium, by contrast, is expensive, difficult to extract, and geopolitically sensitive. Right now, producing lithium-ion batteries costs around $130 to $140 per kilowatt hour. Aluminum ion is projected to cost $60 to $70 per kilowatt hour, less than half. That cost difference isn't just numbers on a spreadsheet. It defines what kinds of cars automakers can build and sell profitably. Let's break this down. A 50 kbwh lithium ion pack costs Tesla about $6,500 to make. Swap that for aluminum ion, and it drops to around $3,200 to $3,500. That's a direct saving of roughly $3,000 per vehicle purely from the battery. Considering the battery accounts for up to one third of an EV's price, Tesla could finally hit the long promised $25,000 Model 2 mark without losing money. That's critical because every automaker is chasing that price point as the tipping threshold for mass adoption. Rivals like BYD, Volkswagen, and Hyundai are close, but their lithium-based chemistry keeps costs higher. Tesla, with aluminum ion, could leapfrog them all and enter a new affordability zone. And beyond price, supply chain stability matters. Aluminum is mined and refined in over 50 countries, while lithium supply is concentrated in just a few, like Chile, Australia, and China. That makes aluminum far less vulnerable to trade wars or resource bottlenecks. This shift could also help Tesla scale faster. Gigafactories wouldn't rely on lithium refinings or rare materials like cobalt and nickel. Aluminum ion batteries are simpler to produce and more sustainable to recycle. Cost, affordability, and sustainability together create a powerful case for change. Range. Is 250 miles enough for the mass market? The expected 250 mile range for the Model 2 has sparked debate. Some call it too short for highway travel, while others argue it's perfect for everyday driving. Let's look at the numbers. The average American drives 37 miles a day. That means a Model 2 could last six or seven days on a charge. Even if you include weekend trips, that's plenty of coverage for most people. The Chevy Bolt offers 259 miles, and the BYD Dolphin also sits around 250 miles. Tesla's Model 3 goes slightly further at 272 miles, but the difference is minor in daily use. Where Tesla pulls ahead is in charging speed. The Model 2 could recharge in about 10 minutes, roughly the time it takes to fill a gas tank. That's a major psychological shift for EV buyers. You no longer need to plan trips around charger stops, you simply top up whenever you pause. Compare this to the Hyundai Ioniq 6, which offers 361 miles, but takes nearly 20 minutes to add an 80% charge on a 350 kilowatts charger. Or the Lucid Air, which pushes over 400 miles, but demands high-end charging infrastructure that most people don't have access to. Tesla bets that people will prefer instant charging convenience over the extra range they rarely use. It's a smart trade-off for city and suburban buyers who value time more than distance. And when we factor in aluminum ion's durability, even repeated fast charges won't damage the pack like lithium does. This could remove one of the final barriers stopping some people from switching to electric, the fear of battery wear from frequent charging. In short, Tesla isn't just matching competitors, it's changing how range is measured. Instead of maximum distance, the new metric becomes miles per minute of charging. And with aluminum ion, Tesla could dominate that leaderboard. The big picture, promise, risks, and industry shockwaves. Aluminum ion technology isn't just a new chapter, it's a potential rewrite of the EV rulebook. These batteries are inherently safer since they're non-flammable and less prone to runaway reactions. They can also handle extreme heat and cold better, making them suitable for countries where lithium cells struggle. Environmental impact is another win. Aluminum is fully recyclable, and its production has a smaller carbon footprint compared to lithium mining. 
That means Tesla could market the Model 2 as the world's first truly sustainable mass market EV built from abundant, recyclable materials. However, the challenges are real. Scaling lab prototypes into millions of reliable packs is a monumental engineering task. Aluminum ion cells require new manufacturing lines, new cooling systems, and new testing protocols. Musk even admitted in Tesla's Q2 2025 earnings call that, we're still validating performance consistency at scale. Then there's competition. Chinese automakers like BYD and CATL are developing sodium ion and solid state alternatives that could rival aluminum ion in cost or density. The race is wide open, but if Tesla succeeds, the payoff could be historic. A car that charges in 10 minutes, lasts decades, costs under $25,000 and runs on abundant metal, that's the kind of leap that changes industries. This could be the moment when EVs stop being the future and simply become the default. For Tesla, aluminum ion isn't just a new battery. It's a chance to redefine mobility itself. Whether it becomes a triumph or a misstep, this gamble shows that Musk is once again betting the company on innovation, not imitation. Outro, aluminum ion batteries could be Tesla's boldest leap yet, offering lightning fast recharges, million mile durability, and price points that finally make EVs mainstream. But as with every Tesla innovation, the question isn't just, can it work? It's, can it scale? If Musk succeeds, the 2026 Model 2 might go down as the car that ended range anxiety forever. So what do you think? Would a 10 minute charge and 2.5 million mile lifespan change your view of EVs? Drop your thoughts below. You're watching Auto Gear Shift, your stop for real analysis, not recycled hype. Stay tuned and keep your engines charged.